I have not spent any fashion piece that's above 1000 Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Kristen Flores, your artsy momsy, and today we will talk about my 2024 designer wish list. This is the first time I am doing this kind of video. I thought it will be great to start the year with a goal and also review it at the end of the year to see which items I am able to get. Also, I think having this kind of wish list will help me with budgeting and prioritizing items that I really want to purchase. So without further ado, the first item in my wish list is the Hermes Paris or Paris loafer in beige or nude color. I am planning to wear more pants and jeans in 2024 and I thought this would be a great pair of shoes to complement the kind of outfit I am planning to achieve for this year. I am, um, I, I think I'm kind of walking into adulthood kind of outfit, I guess, where I kind of want to look more polished and refined. I have my first pair of Hermes shoes. I got them two years ago for my birthday. So I've been wearing these and enjoying them for two summers now. And I love the quality. I love everything about them. I don't even baby them and I think I'm ready for my next pair and yep there it is. I should have a review, a thorough review of these pairs next time. I've been wanting to purchase them online to be honest but for that kind of commitment, the amount of money I will spend for the, for the pair of shoes, I will have to be sure that they will fit and so I wanted to go to the store to actually try them before pulling the trigger. So, yep, if I end up getting them, I'll definitely have an unboxing in this channel, but that's my very first item in my wish list. So it'll be the top priority. Not buying anything until I get it, maybe. <laughs> we'll see, we will see. All right, so the next item in my wish list is a Dior belt bag. It is the saddle removable pouch belt. And again, it's in line with my wardrobe goals, which is wearing more pants and easy pieces. I want to go for elevated basic, easy outfit that looks refined, but still fun and not too serious. So that's the kind of wardrobe goal or styling I'm going for. 2024. Again, this item is available online. However, I want to try it. I have not spent any fashion piece that's above 1000 The most expensive one is probably my Hermes sandals, the LB60 sandals. And those are 960 I think, when I purchased them. So I haven't spent anything more than 1000 so for purchase that huge, for me at least, I will have to go to the store, check the item and see if it's something I really love. So that's the second item, a Dior piece. And I do not own any Dior fashion piece yet in my collection. I shop Dior Beauty, as you already know. And it will be amazing to have one fashion item from Dior in 2024. And again, if I end up getting it, I'll definitely unbox it here in my channel with you guys, of course. Let's move on to the third item in my wish list. Okay, so the third item in my wish list is the Serpenti Viper Ring in Rose Gold. I am born in the year of the snake. Maybe that's why I'm kind of interested with snaky pieces. <laughs> I own a... A pair of boots in snake prints, some pumps, and I think it'll be amazing if I could also own this ring. It's very expensive. For me, it's very expensive, but my thought is that it's like a goal. It For me, it will be like a milestone goal. If I am able to achieve a 
certain milestone in my life like a major one then it's going to be a huge reward for me next year is the year of the snake so maybe hopefully by the end of the year or early next year i could finally have one again this is something i would love to um, buy at the store because i will need to try it on make sure it fits and for that kind of purchase i think um, it has to be the full complete experience not just buying it online and waiting it to arrive in your house i mean I'll probably be stressed a little bit waiting for an expensive item to be delivered at home because you know a lot of things could happen between shipping it and finally delivering it at my house so yeah those three items that I mentioned in my wish list definitely have to buy them at the store and for the last item last big item in my designer wish list is a camel tone wool or cashmere coat i've been eyeing on some max mara coat i think it's the pinnacle of all coats at least for that category and i really want to have one of this beautiful uh, good dark brown coat before i've been avoiding this kind of color because it's my skin tone and i kind of want something that pops no i like green blue again when you're going for elevated basic um i think that's one piece that's still missing in my wardrobe so for this item i don't mind buying it pre-loved uh, i've been buying pre-loved coats and i'm always satisfied with what i get and also because these kind of coats could be very expensive um, a pre-love item in good condition will be a great alternative since i moved to canada i'm also starting to become familiar with aritzia and it seems like i might find one from there too so we will see and like i've said if i end up getting one then you will see that i'll unbox it here with you guys so You'll definitely know when I finally got one. For the rest of the items in my wish list, the next one would be more of a vibe pieces. These are the pieces that I vibe with at the moment. So, and when I say vibe, it could always change all the time, but they are aligned with my, I would say, artistic side. So these are the things that, that are not basic <laughs> or that doesn't look basic. So there's like some elements of them that makes them look a little different or special. So the first item in my vibe wish list is this Kate Spade bag. It's the mini Sam icon bag and I love the green sequin detail in this specific bag it's very small and it's the typical size that i use so last christmas my husband gifted me an item from my wish list which which is a oversized matte green coat i'll try to put the picture right here and i love it i love the no care in the world kind of outfit i feel like it's a great piece especially in this very cold winter here in Edmonton. And I think this specific bag, this um, mini Sam icon bag, will complement that coat very well. Um, so for these um, vibe pieces in my wish list, they are not priority, but if I get a chance to snag one of them, that'll be great for me. It's like um, mini rewards for myself. Um, but they're not urgent it's not something that i really really want to get um, they are pieces that would be nice to receive like maybe if on my coming birthday i could put it in my wish list and maybe one of my friends or my husband could buy it for me i have two more in this vibe wish list and the second item is the jackmus pink lesak rod bag let me do that again Jackmus pink lesak rod bag so it's this bag with a round handle and i want it in pink i'm almost i'm very close to snagging this one because it is currently on sale at essence 
but it is not quite the pink that I like. I want a pastel soft color pink and I'm waiting for that specific item to come out. I saw one that's like a croc embossed leather pink but for that kind of bag I want it to be more quiet I guess. I don't want it to be too glossy or too loud because the shape is already so unique and I want the attention to be on the shape and keep the leather of the bag to be more smooth, simple, and refined. And that's, I think, what I love about Jack Moose. Their silhouettes are great. No, simple bag, simple finishes, but the silhouette is, they're very unique. And that's what I love about this specific item. And my last item in my Vibe wish list is another item from Jack Moose, which is the Jack Moose Green Le Bison Carabiner Bag. So um, this bag, I love the color. I love this green. And with the gold, I feel like everything came together and it looks so different. And that's what I love. I love something that looks so different. If I was, when I was younger, I probably liked something that looks different and crazy. But there's something about Jack Moose purses that looks different. But again, they look simplistic and um the way the elements come together they're like more refined before i we, we used to see stuff like this with moschino but with moschino they're really like over the top like they really put everything there put forks and spoon in purses but this is specific combination of like the simple silhouette like a pochette size bag and the gold carabiner it just looks amazing at least for me so that's another vibe item in my wish list these are the items again that i'm vibing right now and i feel like um those will very well complement my current wardrobe so there you have it let me know what you think about my wish list if you think it's too crazy or if you think it's just right and if there's anything in my wish list that you're also looking forward to purchase for yourself. Let's see what happens this year and we'll definitely have a review by the end of the year to see which items I got. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and for all my subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. For those who are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing because we'll only have fun, fashion, beauty videos in this channel. Hope you love it and see you in my next video. Bye.